Hey folks, enjoy beautiful Jerusalem around 70 degrees today. I hope I hope periscope holds and there are isn't ins and outs and you guys can get a, a clear scope a friendly us. It is beautiful today in Jerusalem folks. Beautiful check out the sky. Ah beautiful 70 degrees and thank you everyone for joining the replay when you are here and if you have problems then uh, just come in for the replay. Shalom Texas, Shalom Trev Bassi, Shalom Peaceful Oz, all of you, awesome being here. Welcome. Oh, we're gonna get some live music here on the streets of Jerusalem. Here we are, one of the central, good day to you, Bogart. Oh, amazing seeing you. Here we go, whoops. Live music on the streets of Jerusalem. Shalom Delaware. Here we go. A famous corner here in Jerusalem. So I only have a few minutes, but I wanted to share with you the beauty of Jerusalem and some thoughts on parenting. I don't know how many of you guys out there are parents, how many of you have been blessed to be parents, but parenting is amazing. It is so hard, but it is so amazing. It is beautiful, folks. It is, it is, it is. It is, and you guys are all invited. And there's an old friend, Ben! How's it How's going? It going? Oh, good yeah. seeing you. Say hello, say hello. Hello, world. How you doing? We go way back to Baltimore. Oh, wrong way. Oh, okay. Anyway. How's it going? Good, good, good. I like your t-shirt. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'll see you around. You gotta love bumping into bumping into old friends. Um, anyway, I was talking about parenting. I have a few minutes before my meeting. You got it. You got it, Real Raps. My favorite scoper. Thanks, Vicky. You're amazing. I appreciate that. This is like the real deal, folks. The real streets of Jerusalem. You see it, you see the people, you see the sights, you hear the sounds. So back to parenting, I was saying it's a real bless. It's a totally, such a real blessing to bring children into the world. And then it's a, it's a, it's a big responsibility, but, but to take that responsibility seriously and raise those children to be good people, you do it all the time. I don't know what's that referring to, but thanks, Trev. I take that as a compliment from you. But taking that risk, that huge responsibility to raise a child in this world, to nurture them and, and give them give them the love and the tools to be able to make the right decisions in life and be able to, to deal with the challenges that life has them. Like, yeah, it's a big responsibility, but, but have fun with it, enjoy it. These kids are sponges and, and they're just like, bump into friends. Oh yeah, 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 bump into friends is awesome. Children, children are sponges, and, and, and they just want your love and attention, and that's what makes them the best, the, the, be, the best people they can be when they grow up. So last night it was wonderful. There was a, I had a full night that was a parenting night. Greatest gift and duty, 100% Helsinki. Where is that? This is Jerusalem. If the, if any Arab wants to live in peace with us, they are more than welcome to live in peace with us. But we're not talking about this now, you guys. Could take your terror and propaganda elsewhere. We're talking about parenting here. So, um, so last night it was a full parenting night because I, I came home straight from straight from work and went straight to my son's school. Again, more live music here on the streets of Jerusalem, folks. I went straight to my son's school. I have a son. I have four boys. I'm lucky to have four boys, my wife and I. And my third son is in fifth grade. You love the architecture? Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying. So fifth grade, yeah, it's awesome intersection. This is like a main street of Jerusalem. And I don't know how many of you know, but we have a Jewish tradition. One of our commandments in the Torah is for us to wear a special garment with strings. They're called tzitzit. And that special commandment of strings is about remembering the 613 commandments that are in the Torah. Shout out to the girl in front of you. <laughs> you got it. It's not stolen. They make up lies, these Arabs. This is the Jewish homeland for over 3,000 years. They just like saying lies to get people to hate Israel. So stick with me, folks, if you want the truth. Hello, Brazil. Yes, Jews have 613 commandments. Not all of them do we do every day, but we do where we're supposed to be doing them. So here we go. Ready? Look at this. So traditional Jews, we wear a special, a special garment called tzitzit. Here, look. See? This is a special garment I wear underneath my shirt, and there's strings, and this, and all the strings on this garment are supposed to remind us every day to, to do the 613 commandments. It's a reminder. It's a reminder. God told us wear this reminder on your body every day. 
it was the Jewish owned land, Arizona land too. Yes, it's always been the Jewish owned land. So, uh, I'm not going into politics now. You're more than welcome to come to other scopes. Right now, I'm just dealing with parenting because I'm about to get to my meeting right now. Uh, yes, mitzvot. So last night I went to the school with my fifth grader and I made this garment, this tzitzit. We tied all the strings together. It was awesome. It was amazing. It was special family time. It was special father-son time. Like, folks, that's what life's about. Take it, taking advantage of those times to, to spend with your children. All they want is your attention. You know, sometimes we just put them in front of screens and even though that's what they say they want, they want to have fun, but that doesn't make them grow, that doesn't give them happiness. What really gives them happiness is spending time with you, their parents, and getting the love with you. I'm a Jew, Muhammad. Welcome to the Jewish land, homeland. And you're more than welcome to come visit. Guys, I'm off to my meeting. Love you all. See you later. And shalom, shalom from heavenly Jerusalem. Yes, those are like the strings of the talit. Exactly, Vicky. All right, I'll be back later on, folks. Yes, awesome family bonding. Do it always, always. Family bonding, folks. That's what it's about.